Hey guys, ACG Princess Di. Um, so today would have been um, egg day number nine, but I decided to stop and I'll explain everything. Um, you know why the reason why I stopped now. Um, but I didn't vlog yesterday. I was in a blizzard. <laughs> Although it was not as bad as they said it was going to be um, here. I mean, it was bad in many other places, but thankfully the storm moved up a little bit. So the central part, New Jersey, didn't really get any bad I mean, we got ice, uh, snow, but it's not snow. That thing was like, it's like ice. Literally, my husband was um, shoveling, and he's like, do you have an ice pick? Because that's what I need <laughs> to get this off the street. Um, but uh, it was very, very heavy. So we got about six inches, um, but it could have been worse. Uh, every plane got canceled at a, a Newark, for sure. So thank God I did not decide to travel that day instead of today. But my flight is on time, so I'm still scheduled to leave. Um, so yeah, yesterday I was just busy with work because I did have to work. I had a million calls for work and then I had to pack, which I have no idea how everything fit in that suitcase. I have no idea. I really, it's like magic. <laughs> but everything did fit. I'm like so happy. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but I have, um, I use my uh, global upgrade. So I am in first class, so I get um, 70 pounds. So I'm sure it's def less than 70 pounds. Because um, it was a lot of volume, but it's clothes for kids and stuff like that. So it's not heavy. Um, but, oh, hi, Mumu. Hello, baby. What? You want to be in the vlog? What do you have to say? I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. He's so handsome. Um, as you can tell, I like black, white, and red. Because that's like the colors of my living room. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, that's the reason why I didn't vlog yesterday. But, um, so I'm vlogging today before I leave. So let me just kind of, first of all, um, so yeah, yesterday's, uh, not yesterday's, uh, the day before yesterday's vlog, I mean, I, I really was contemplating should I post or not. I definitely didn't want to talk about it again. And I don't want to talk about it again because it was, as you can tell, it was very raw and, at least you do see because you know that the that 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 video was not meant to be shared but you can see the one thing that i did like that you guys can tell is that that was just me and you know to my best friend like it was just a video of me saying somebody to something to somebody personal but you can tell that it's like the way that i just talk to you guys too so you can tell that i'm not you know faking anything or i'm different you know when i blog and stuff like that which i really like to sh share that so that everybody just knows that you know i'm me um always always um even in the bad time and it was hard like i even watched it one more time uh, one more time only uh, because then i started crying again <laughs> um it's hard. It's hard to see. It's hard. I mean, you can tell that I was in pain. Um, and I'm smiling, but I think that's my second reaction when I'm in pain. Because you even saw it there, like, I smile. I try to smile. Just because it's, you know, it's not good to be in pain. <laughs> but, um, but, I mean, I love... Thank you so much for all the lovely, amazing, supportive people out there. How beautiful it is to know that you are all out there and you are just so beautiful and the words that you all wrote were just so touching i mean i really like i literally was smiling my husband was like why are you smiling about because i didn't tell him that I, I plugged that so i told him about it because he noticed that i was like so touched so i i truly truly am so touched um and you know i mean I, like um, many of you said i've been there which is sad because i you know obviously it hurts so much but um you know that's that's reality unfortunately and hopefully there's gonna be a lot of more of those customers um, that stand up I should have also stand up for myself I now looking back I should have said something but it wasn't worth it especially also that he's my um, hairdresser <laughs> I don't want him to fuck up my hair <laughs> but um I mean it does it should have mattered you know um, I should have said something but <sighs> you know it is what it is it's just you know it is what it is um unfortunately but most people are hopefully no not most people a lot of people are like that so we just have to be strong and love each other and love ourselves and that's all so that's all i have to say about that <laughs> um but i do feel i feel i feel awesome from you know um when i started keto um in october i was 220 guys 220 
Um, then I stopped keto around December because Christmas, <laughs> a little too much. So that's when then I then I decided to do the um, ACG round. Try to start January eighth, but that didn't happen. So I started like February ish, um, right? I think. Um, but you know, and then you know, then I did this little experiment. So let's talk about the experiment real fast. Um, so. Um, I had to say it was amazing. So yesterday I was 15 point, uh, I mean, I was, um, well, I'm just going to tell you guys my, my numbers because I don't really calculate, I should have written it down. But um, when I started it, day one until day eight, right? Day one, I was 206.2, 206.2. And yesterday I was 195.4. That's 10.8 pounds lost. That's amazing. Uh, today I woke up at um, 195.8 which is still 10.4 loss. So, uh, but then I weighed myself again and it was down again. So I think it's in between there. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that I lost 10.5. <laughs> I'm gonna put it like in the between um, pounds in these eight egg days, plus in, in, and one steak date in between. <laughs> so it could have been even more or less, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm happy. I'm so happy and I feel great. I feel like, I feel good, like compared to when I was 206, you know, I'm 195, you know, uh, so I'm so happy, I'm so happy I decided to do this, thank you for everybody's support through all this, um, I decided not to continue it today just because I'm traveling, so I did inject yesterday, that was like my last injection day, so it would be out of my system, and today what I'm doing, I still had eggs yesterday though, um, so that's why I'm counting to more, yesterday as uh, one of the egg days, which was number eight. Today, I'm not counting it as an egg day. Today, what I'm going to do, because I'm so thirsty today, for some reason, I'm like dying of thirst. Um, I'm going to um, uh, make my smoothie. And I decided that I'm going to blog it. So I have everything prepared because uh, some of you asked me to share my recipe. So I'm going to blog it and uh, share it with you guys. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <laughs> Sorry. And yes, of course, um, it's still Christmas here. <laughs> I told you guys, it's going to be Christmas until probably like April. So, what, Momo? What, Momo? <laughs> okay, so, um, I think that's all I have to say for now. So, yeah, I leave to the airport in like about four hours. I'm mostly packed. Um, maybe I'll do a little clip at the end of this to show you... Um, how I prepare uh, on my trips. I'm a little crazy. Um, I love planning. I love planning. It makes me happy, you know. Um, there's only one time that I didn't plan. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be spontaneous. And I was having like an anxiety attack the first day that I was in Hawaii. I was like, give me my book, give me my Excel sheet, cause I wanna have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I could not not have a plan, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I will show you kind of how I planned, but also because I had so much to bring and I was going for 20 days, I also, because sometimes I overpacked like jewelry and overpacked um, and clothes. This time I really wanted to um, uh, plan out even my, like what I'm wearing and making sure that I'm only bringing exactly what I need. Uh, so I went even a little bit more crazy than usual. <laughs> um, but I will show you that at the end of this vlog if you're interested. But for now, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do these smoothie. So again, I can't see me right now. I'm using this because, see behind me there's a mirror, so I could tell that I'm in frame. But just like the cooking video, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know if I'm in frame or not. But I think I prepared everything so that I can do it perfectly this time. So um, here we go, Momo. Want to do a smoothie, Momo? <laughs> okay, let's do the smoothie. So okay. Um. So and and. Also, like I only have here to show you for one serving, but then later after I turn this off, I'm actually gonna make my own because I'm leaving today and I don't want to. I, I could freeze these, um, but I don't want to. Um, the other thing I can do, since I have a little bit of time, instead of just freezing it and making it later, what I do is I um, freeze them. Um, and I, I, I've noticed. I mean, it does. It tastes. It tastes pretty fine. You just have to leave it over um, in the. Uh, so it's frozen right now. You have to leave a space here, um, just in case. And also, um, when you put it in the in the uh, in the refrigerator, um, 
from the freezer to the refrigerator, you have to wait like a, a 24 hours. Um, so like if I know I need it the next day, I take it off like um, and put it in the refrigerator and I take it to work the next morning. So it's it's wonderful because then sometimes I really don't have time. If I have time, I'll make it fresh. But that's for like when I'm like literally like I know I'm not gonna have time the next day and I, I have it frozen. So that's what I'm gonna do with all of these. I wanna just make um, enough to freeze uh, a couple of batches. Um, but let's get started. So um, I use my scale to um, measure everything. Um, I always measure. I don't. I mean, you could you could do, and I'm gonna tell you how much you could do. Um, if you don't want to measure it too, um, cause you don't have to, but I always just like to just so that it always stays the same. Um, but I buy baby spinach and if you don't want to measure it, it's like two full, like, like this, um, you know, uh, grabs of that or 85 grams. Um, so let's just start putting it in again. I don't, I'm not used to doing this, so bear with me guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, so yeah. So you see one and two, so that's 85 grams Oops. of spinach, okay? Then next we have um, strawberries. Um, so like I said, I, 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 buy the, I try to buy them fresh. If I see that they start going bad, I freeze them um, or make it. So um, it's either four or five strawberries or 100 grams. Um, so you can either count or weigh um, the other fruit that you can put in here that I used to use, um, I just decided not to do it this round and so far has been good and I don't have any, so I'm not going to put any, but you can put, um, half an apple too. So four strawberries and half an apple. And okay, next is my microplane. <laughs> now that I know what it's called, I knew what it was called. I just don't know why I couldn't think of it. But it's microplane. <laughs> um, and I don't know if you guys know the best way to peel ginger is with a spoon. Uh, you just literally scrape it and it's perfect because with a knife you lose some of the uh, goodness of the ginger. So I, um, I grate about, um, I know how much but I wanted to weigh it. It's about 3 grams of it. I used to put less but now I love it so I put a lot of it now. Okay, so that's in there. Next is just have... Um, lemon i used to i used to do it myself because i was like oh my god this is such a waste of money what was i thinking i bought this like a few months ago and it's changed my life i'm like i don't i don't know i was like oh my god why why do i need um, uh, something i can just you, you obviously you can do it with your hands but it is amazing i know i don't know why i never like i don't know i have no idea why i didn't use it before but this is half a lemon so just half a lemon and then I use, um, I love Turia. I don't like, um, uh, what's the other one called? Not Splenda, the other one that most people use. Um, Stevia. I hate Stevia. I just don't like it. I don't like the drops. I don't like the anything. I love Truvia. Um, so I use Truvia. So I use three small teaspoons. Okay. And then I use eight ounces of water. And then I also, which I was going to get, but I forgot. We'll do it together. Um, I put some ice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, honestly, actually, um, it needs a little bit more water, I think. Just a little bit more. So maybe, like, nine ounces. And I do have a, a neutral bullet. But then once I bought my Vitamix... Oh my god, I love this. It just makes it so much smoother, but obviously you use whatever you have. I love my Vitamix. Love, love, love. So I'm gonna turn it on right now. if you do put the apple in there and then um uh, you just put it in a in a cup and i use my beautiful cup that my friend jen sent me gorgeous d like die and she made it like a disney lettering which i love 
Um, but, you know, just put it wherever you want. I like to drink this out of a straw for some reason. So, see, it's creamy and beautiful. A little bit left, but that's why I like to use a really big cup. And this cup screws from the, uh, from the outside, so you can fill it all the way to the top. And that's it. So, I try it. Yes, everything. Sometimes I'm like, oh gosh, I forgot the ginger. Oh gosh, I forgot the lemon. And you can taste it when you try it. It's so good, guys. It's a perfect recipe. It has enough kick of the ginger, enough sweetness, enough tartness from the from the uh, lemon. I honestly, you can put the apple, but it's like, you know, like, eat the apple. Like, I think eating would be probably more filling instead of putting it in a liquid form you don't need it in my opinion you don't need it so there is my green smoothie guys i hope you liked it um definitely try it and let me know how you guys liked it and i have one last thing to say i'm gonna go back to here because i don't know if you can see me <laughs> um 